Captured Captain Clark. Mm. Well, well, this is indeed a rare treat. Captain Nathaniel J. Clue. I'm sorry, but I must inform you that your ship is lost and your crew was left at the mark. Uh, how I should say this? Indisposed? You can't tell me of our own. I'll have my vengeance! <laughs> oh, I doubt that. You see, you are a gift for the king and will be publicly executed upon our return. <laughs> Bringing scoundrels like yourself to justice makes the people feel safer and enforces the might of the Spanish Armada and the will of the king. We'll see. Indeed we shall. Oh, this is a very happy day for me, Claw. <laughs> I'm sure you will find your quarters at the prison most uncomfortable and the guards especially hostile. Oh, after all, we can't be too careful with our prize trophy now, can we? Take him away. this? I wonder how long this has been here. I am writing this with a quill and a piece of torn paper for my confessions for my Spanish captors and will then hide it in the wall. I will be executed in the morning for crimes against the king. The exact details as to why are not important. What is important is that whomever is reading this letter knows that the legendary Nine Lives amulet really exists. In a town on the other side of the nearby forest, I lost one of the gems for the amulet in a game in one of the taverns. It seems hopeless for me now, but if you, whoever you turn out to be, have more luck than I did, 
and can get out of this godforsaken place and are seeking the adventure of a lifetime, I encourage you to take the piece of the map that you should find with this letter and go and retrieve the first of the nine powerful gems of the Amulet of Nine Lives. It is an incomplete map, so you will need to find the rest of the pieces, and with that, the location of the rest of the gems. Good luck, and beware. Others now know of the Amulet too. Edward to Ben. The Nine Lives Amulet? I can't believe it. Could it be true? Hmm. Probably not, but just in case. That's it. I want you. Now I'll quite tell myself. Huh? What? to try to lose them in the forest. Just find a tavern next to the shipyard. I can get another gem for the amulet, and possibly information on the whereabouts of the rest of them. I'm telling you, it's true. Oh, come on, how can you say that? You know it's just a story told to us when we were kittens. Because I've got proof. And besides, why would Redtail be going to all this trouble for that map to Tiger Island? Huh? Because he's crazy, that's why. And what proof are you talking about? Listen, I've seen one of the gems. The first mate has it with him. The first mate, huh? I haven't seen him in a while. Where is he? Yeah, he's waiting for the rest of the crew back at the ship. He's going to give it to Redtail himself when we reach the Pirate Coast. So, even if that's true, it's only one gem. Well, not exactly. I've heard that Redtail had captured some pirates. They had a couple of gems as well. Rumor, huh? I'm going to have to see this for myself. Where are you going? To pay a visit to the first mate. You'll skin me alive if he finds out I told you! Wait up!
Tell me where the gems are, and I'll let you live. Captain! Captain Claw? Mr. Tabby? Aye, sir. Captain Claw, I can't believe it. We thought you were dead. There was a change in plans. So, where are the gems? We gave two of them to Redtail, but kept the third hidden since he only thought we had the two. Where is he now? Tiger Island. Tiger Island? I thought that was just a legend. So did I. But evidently there is a Tiger Island, and Redtail is headed there. We overheard the guard say that he had grown impatient and would go to the island to challenge for the amulet. I don't think he knows that you have six of the gems. Where'd you get the three gems? After we escaped from the Spanish, we were staying in the town on the coast of the mainland. We bought the gems, as well as a piece of the map, and the scroll there from a merchant. The map shows a cave not far from here that supposedly leads under the sea to Tiger Island. The scroll is a map to a cave. It could be that same cave. Did the merchant say where he got the gems and scroll? He said he received them from a man named... Tobin. Yes, that's it. Edward Tobin. How did you know? Lucky guess. How far did you say this cave might be? If it exists, it should be two miles north of the cove. Tabby, Kristoff, the rest of you wait at the nearest tavern. Won't we be accompanying you in the cave, sir? No, I'll have to go alone. I need you back here with the men. And besides, we're going to need a ship. So this is how it ends. I die on the beach of Tiger Island, an unarmed man. And you die challenging for the amulet. Where are the last two gems, Redtail? The gems won't help you, Claw. You're not strong enough to be the champion. The trophy is for someone like me. A leader. A visionary. A survivor. You're nothing more than a decorated thief. I'll ask you one last time. Where are the gems? Very well. They are right here. <laughs> I suppose I have no choice. Never! I'll be waiting for you, Claw! <laughs> now to find the amulet. Hello, Nathaniel Joseph Claw. I am Princess Adora. 
I first must commend you on finding the eight gems for the amulet. By no means an easy task. You then fought through great adversity and peril and found your way here to Tiger Island. An equally difficult task. Finally, you defeated Lord Omar, the captain of my Royal Tiger Guard, and obtained the final gem. You have indeed proven yourself worthy to hold the title as champion of all cats in the greater lore realms. And you will proudly wear this title with the Amulet of Nine Lives. The cat champion who wears this amulet wields incredible magical power and is granted by the deities a true nine lives, the closest any mortal creature can come to immortality. Go now, Nathaniel. Omar will accompany you as a guardian to both yourself and the amulet. The amulet is very powerful, so it's important that it not fall into the hands of someone corrupt or villainous. Guard it with your life and it will serve you forever. Thank you.